The Russo brothers have worked incredibly hard throughout the years and given us some fantastic movies. And even though they've recently produced some of Marvel's best films, they've declared it's time to step away from the business. Watch this video to see why the Russo brothers won't be back with Marvel until at least 2030. The big announcement. Joe and Anthony Russo, who directed Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and Civil War, and both Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, have no plans to return to the MCU soon. When asked by Variety about their time working with Marvel on those movies, the brothers claimed they're still in contact with Marvel, but are trying to put some space between themselves and 2019's Endgame. They said they won't be back in the MCU until 2030. Who will replace the old Avengers in the MCU going forward? The Russos might be going away for a while, but that doesn't mean we'll still get another Avengers movie. In Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Benedict Wong's persona has become the unifying force in place of Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. As of now, Wong has appeared in several Phase 4 productions, including Spider-Man No Way Home, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The Wong phase of the MCU is appropriate, considering he has taken over as the Sorcerer Supreme after Doctor Strange's departure. Protecting the globe from potential future dangers is his job, and you can bet that he'll be the one to rally the Avengers together again when the time comes. The arrival of Simu Liu's Shang-Chi, the Avenger known as the White Tiger, is assured for the sixth and final season. One reason is that we saw him called upon by Wong at the end of 2021's Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. As an additional point, Destin Daniel Cretton also helmed Avengers The Kang Dynasty, and we don't think that's a coincidence. Now that he has the Ten Rings of Power under his control, Shang-Chi is an invaluable tool to Earth's mightiest heroes. The Legend of the Ten Rings mid credit scene alludes to a greater mystery involving these relics, which may or may not play a role in the Kang Dynasty. Although Wong has assumed the title of Sorcerer Supreme, Supreme, Stephen Strange will still play a significant part in Phase 6 of Avengers. Now that he's been in the superhero game for a while, the Avengers could use his knowledge of magic and the multiverse to their advantage. It's important to remember that Doctor Strange is now in another universe, assisting Charlize Theron's Clea in resolving the incursion issue. It's not known if we'll receive another Doctor Strange sequel before the Kang Dynasty, but the promise made in Multiverse of Madness will be fulfilled when the Avengers unite to fight Kang. So, which Avengers will be returning post Russo's. Do you honestly think an Avengers team can function properly without Captain America? Thankfully, Sam Wilson has taken up the shield as the new Cap after Steve Rogers retired to finally have his dance with Peggy Carter. Sam grudgingly accepted that duty in 2021's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Captain America New World Order will detail the next phase in his superhero journey in 2024. But is Sam capable of taking Steve's place as the rousing team leader? We hope to find the answer to that in the Kang Dynasty and Secret wars. In New World Order, Sam may even want to change the Avengers for the better. However, it appears that the MCU isn't ready for an Avengers reunion, as Thunderbolts is Marvel's next film after Cap 4. What about the War Machine? Don Cheadle's War Machine has been a supporting character in the Iron Man and Avengers film, but he's set to shine as a lead in Phase 5. Armor Wars, starring Cheadle, will focus on Rhodey's efforts to keep Tony Stark's technology out of the wrong hands. From there, it's not hard to imagine that War Machine will be one of the Avengers to step in and help cover for Iron Man. He's a seasoned soldier who can pack a punch, even if he isn't as inventive as Tony. The Russo Brothers' eight best movies. Some of the most enjoyable films of the past decade have been directed by the Russo Brothers. Let's take a look at eight of their very best. Number eight, Cherry. There's no disputing that Cherry was one of the Russo Brothers' most divisive films, even though it still has a large fan base. The film centers on Tom Holland's character, a decorated war veteran who struggles with post-traumatic stress disorder and substance abuse after returning home. Cherry was the first picture the Russo brothers made after leaving the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's very evident that they took full use of their newfound freedoms as filmmakers. Although the film's many unorthodox choices in storytelling likely alienated some potential viewers. Number 7, You, Me, and Dupree. You, Me, and Dupree is one of the first films the Russo brothers made together, and it's a charming romantic comedy about Owen Wilson's character moving in with his pals and immediately being a nuisance to their personal life. Even if You, Me, and Dupree isn't the best romantic film of the 2000s, it still has a script that knows how to make viewers laugh while keeping the story's emotional stakes high. Despite not being their most acclaimed film, it demonstrated the Russo brothers' potential as filmmakers. Number 6, The Gray Man. Even though not everyone has seen it yet, the early word is that The Gray Man is one of the Russo brothers' most action-packed films. Although it lacks the epic scale of its previous MCU ventures, its thrilling story and entertaining performances have made the movie a fan favorite. The Russo 
Russo brothers are still developing their directing style, but they've taken a giant leap forward with The Gray Man. Fans need only one look at the trailers to get a sense of the film's audacious and dynamic ambitions. With its offbeat characters and intricate plot, it's obvious that the Russos are attempting something fresh. Number 5. Welcome to Collinwood Despite being one of the duo's earliest works, Welcome to Collinwood has endured as a critically acclaimed fan favorite. The jailed crook in this crime thriller has his lover recruit a squad of burglars so that he can perform his final heist from behind bars. Welcome to Collinwood, in which Sam Rockwell plays the starring role, is one of the many projects in which the Russo brothers have worked with actors from the Marvel Cinematic Universe that are not Marvel movies. He gives a lively and engaging performance as the film's protagonist, setting it apart from other movies in the genre. Number four, Four, Avengers Infinity War. Infinity War is the first chapter in the epic conclusion of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Infinity Saga, a series that kicked off with Jon Favreau's Iron Man in 2008. The film features a massive ensemble cast and has broken box office records. Even though a lot was riding on Infinity War to bring together a massive cast of characters and wrap up plenty of loose subplots from throughout the years, the picture succeeded at practically every level and gave audiences one of the most exciting films ever created. Number three, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. A sizable population of moviegoers agrees with the assertion that The Winter Soldier is among the MCU's finest offerings. The Russo brothers' first film for the MCU is more than just a superhero movie. It's also an intriguing spy thriller with one of the genre's most mature and deep stories. The Winter Soldier's financial and critical success launched the Russo brothers' long-running association with Marvel, which has helped propel them to the forefront of the film industry. The Winter Soldier is undoubtedly one of their most consequential and formative films in this sense. Number 2. Captain America Civil War The Avengers was the film that introduced us to the MCU as a whole, and Captain America Civil War was the next major chapter. In this nail-biting thriller, the well-known superhero team was split between supporters of legal regulation and those against it. For Civil War, the Russo brothers spared no effort creating a high-stakes action thriller that featured nearly every character introduced in the MCU to that point in one of the most riveting superhero battles ever recorded. Number 1. Avengers Endgame Endgame's true purpose is to wrap up a decade-long narrative that an entire generation grew up with. Thus, it's difficult to critique the film without referencing the many films that came before it. Some people aren't going to like superhero movies, but nobody can deny the cultural impact of Avengers Endgame in 2019. Though it marked the end of an era for many Avengers fans, Endgame is nevertheless one of the most action-packed films in the Avengers series and one of the most enjoyable superhero movies ever made. So guys, how much do you think the MCU will miss the Russo brothers while they're gone? Let us have your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly give it a like and share so your friends can watch it too. Last but not least, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep getting more interesting content like this. Thanks for watching.